It is pressing day today. We're going to be doing a few different exercises. Obviously, Luke's got a injured shoulder, so he's going to be doing stuff that will help his shoulder not aggravate it too much. I've got bench press for the first time since 1994, <laughs> so that'll be quite cool. Push press is really light today. Five fives at 100 kilograms for me. Just again to get back into the movement and get back into kind of getting the muscles woken up again. So it's going to be fun. And look at this. Wow. Leave a legacy Stockman new t-shirt. This is a, is it a 4X? 4X, yeah. 4X7, it's proper. Like, it's been sized up. So. <laughs> I've got, I lost I'm 120 kilograms in now. And it's making me look like a wee baby. So. so the new range is Leave a Legacy range that we're doing. So this is the first one we're showing you. We've got another three more, I think it is. These have been sized up, so our old sizes were quite small, so this 4XL is a big 4XL, this is 3XL I'm wearing, it's really big. It's so, long as well, which is good, look yeah. at that. Jeez. So, it's a nice fit for everyone, so hopefully you'll be happy with the sizing. We hope you enjoy the new merchandise, Leave a Legacy. But now, it's time to build up some pectorials. Boom. I'm going to use the Swiss bar, or the football bar, whatever else you want to call it, just because I've still got some niggles in my shoulder, so it feels better when I'm in a neutral position, so that's what I'll go with today, see how that goes, um, yeah, and take it from there. So I'll just, I'll just go and go. Right, so before we start pressing, um, I touched earlier on, I think, that I've been speaking to uh, Squat University. Martins uses them for mobility stuff, for kind of rehab and everything else. So I've been speaking to them about my shoulder issues. So he's given me some basic exercises, external rotations, some, some stuff to kind of get my rotator cuff um, warmed up and ready. So I'm gonna, we're going to do that first. Tom's got some stretches to do before we start. Um, as this is the off season, this is the time that we need to kind of take to make sure everything's all singing, all dancing, and by doing these, these extra little bits, we're spending 10 minutes warming up properly. Hopefully, if Tom's dying, Tom's gonna die. Um, yeah, by doing these warm ups, it'll kind of prevent any more injuries, and we will be the finished article come next year at World's Strongest Map. So guys, as you can see here, I'm kind of trying to warm up my shoulders more. Usually we just do the bar, but we've started obviously working on mobility with Sean. I just did two or three exercises here, just I was feeling a bit stiff. You know, the first one was to get the kind of shoulder blades and real delts kind of woken up. That burns, baby. And then this is wrist curl things, so as you can see there. I'm just doing this to help me get loose before I start. Lengthen the muscles a wee bit as well to keep them kind of loose and to prevent injury. You know, loads of people get injured, so we're trying to stop ourselves getting injured and just get mobile and just to get better at the sport as well. This is warming the wrists up. Did some these ones for the delts, the real delts. Maybe just do some uh, opening up the pecs and maybe a wee bit of face pulls and then boom. So there's a nice and warm to go. Right, first warm up exercise with my belly exercise I'm going to do is external rotations with my resistance bands. So 15 reps with a 10 second pause. So let's see how it goes. Regarding my kind of rehab of my shoulder, some mobility stuff, some exercises that will improve my overall strength as a strong man. I think too long I've neglected mobility stuff and warm ups. I've got some exercises to do before we start pressing. This is to warm up my rotator cuff. I think that's where a lot of the issues are coming from in my right shoulder. It's been ongoing for a few months now, so it's time. Now we're in the off season, it's time to get that kind of analysed, assessed and start the rehab um, procedure. I keep talking about doing everything I can to become world's strongest man, so this is part of that, that journey. Oh, jeez. First one. So guys, the next exercise is a banded raise um, and I hold at the top for five seconds. So, as you can see, I've got my wee band on here. I'm going to pull the band apart. Hold it. And down for 10 times. After watching Martins Lucis win the Rogue Invitational and see how prepared he was, it really has inspired me to you know, cover all bases. So that's all I'm doing, is just covering all bases and trying to be the best athlete I can. 
That's good to see with the, the band and I'm holding it up like that. Obviously you take the tapes and the band, the band's wanting to pull you in. So you've got to create st stability in your muscles. Make sure it's held. That little pause as well, that's creating a bit more stability as well. So feels good so far. So just a little warm up ritual and then we'll go into push press with a Swiss bar. And that'll be that. Yeah guys, so obviously it's off season as you can see. Uh, our training is kind of back right down. Um, we're not really hit, hitting anything heavy, we're just doing a lot of rep work and volume work and just to kind of keep the muscles taking over. There's no point deadlifting 300, push pressing 180, 190 when we're nowhere near a competition. Um, we're just not going to peak right. So this is just to keep us maintaining and to keep us kind of firing. Also our diet has gone drastically down as well. So trying to lift heavier on a lower calorie diet, lower carb diet is dangerous as well. So we're just trying to get our body back to kind of being healthy again and just to maybe build a bit more quality muscle, lose a bit of uh, weight and then boom. As you can see, it's only 100 kilograms, but this is our working sets for this week. 100k push press for me, Looks doing 100k on the Swiss bar. Exactly the same. We're both just different bars, so... We're going to blast this out quite easily and boom, on to the next one. So in this workout, you can see I'm using the Swiss bar. That's due to my shoulder being okay in the neutral position when I'm pressing. I find when I'm using the barbell, it puts a lot more pressure on my rotator cuff. And it creates a lot of pain, or it's pain and a pinching, and those punches. But with this, it just allows me to press, which is great. It's not ideal, but it allows me to train, and that's all we're looking for at the moment. Um, thankfully, the weights aren't awfully heavy. For us, 100 kilos isn't. A great deal to push press so um, for me to use the the Swiss press um, just keeps me ticking over and keeps my muscles kind of you know pumped and getting the blood into them which which in turn will, will help the recovery as well so if I sit around and do nothing my shoulders will get locked up and probably create a, a worse effect on that um, so yeah it just create, creates my shoulders to get the blood in and allows me to, to train to do whatever I can. Stand five fives a hundred. Felt really comfortable there. No impingement in my shoulder, which is nice. Like I say, in that neutral position when I'm pressing, it's okay. Yeah, it's good. It's nice to see that it's it's not as sore as it was, you know, this time last week, so that's good. Um, I think doing this mobility um, stuff that we're doing with Sean and then with uh, the Squat University, I think that's really helping as well. So Again, that's something I'm going to incorporate all through my training now. It's doing the yeah, appropriate warm-ups. I think that's what we need to do. So everything's feeling good. We're going on to bench press. I think it's three sets of eight reps, flat bench. See how that goes. I think I'll probably just use the Swiss bar and take it from there. Nice and easy, nice and snappy. Uh, a bit out of breath as I can do soon, but yeah, it's five fives at 100k. Nothing to worry about. Now we're going on to the first time bench pressing in about 10 years. Let's see what happens. Feels nice with us on your chest. Like a cuddle.
Right, so I'm going to start my first set of 140 for 8 and then uh, we'll just take it from there. We're going big and deep, bro. Big and deep. So, on to working set now. So, I'm going to just stick with uh, 120 for three sets of eight. Just being conservative with my shoulder, it's, it's not 100%. So, bench doesn't need to be super strong for us at the moment. So, just going through the motions, getting, making sure I get the reps, making sure I get the sets, um, and not damaging my shoulder anymore. So, it feels okay with the Swiss bar. Um, and yeah, just get them done, and then that's it, finished. Right, wait. So that's our uh, bench press done. First time benching in a few years, I think. And yeah, three eights at 140, nice and comfy. Look with his shoulder, three sets of eight, 120. So nice, easy session, nice, easy benching and uh, now we're on to the easy stuff, the accessory stuff. So guys, next exercise is flies. I think we're going to do some banded flies, three sets of 15. So yeah, accessory wise, there's a few new different exercises, but this kind of day was normal. Obviously we're doing banded uh, chest flies here because the machine was away, but I prefer bands over machines a lot of the time anyway for triceps, chest, lat pull downs, everything. It keeps the tension under your muscle the whole time, unlike the machines do. So bands are very, very uh, good and a really, really good piece of kit to have if you're going to the gym and you want to do accessory you can do basically nearly every exercise with a band so get this as part of your program if it's not already accessory with band tricep push downs biceps flies as you can see here so guys how's the new diet going it's clean very clean at the moment very clean very hard five meals a day right now so it's whew. yeah so it's nathan's got us on a tight schedule at the moment but at the weekend we managed to have our last cheap meal which was Pretty tasty. What last cheap meal to start. <laughs> what was your last cheap meal? I had a. Uh, what's the new place called, sorry? An ONS? Uh, Marmaris. Marmaris. I had a munchy box burger, chips, chicken pecora, mixed pecoras, and a thing that I've never heard of a Malteser Nutella calzone. Guys, if you want a good time at night, buy one of them. Man. Better than anything you'll ever do in your life. I can fly like an albatross. Right guys, next up we are doing tape press with the kettlebell. So it's the first time we've done this, it's been incorporated into our training programme. So we've got three sets of ten, see how it goes and we'll report back afterwards. Exercise as you can see there, it's very new to us, very weird as well. But yeah, dance has it in for a reason so I think it just targets the tricep more. You can't really cheat doing it and uh, can't use your body or nothing so it's full. Um, kind of a poundage on the tricep, but very hard to get into it. But apart from that, it's, it's no bad. It's no bad. <laughs> Feels really nice um, on the triceps. You can really feel it. Quite a deep um, tricep pump. Uh, I'm feeling it a little bit in my, I can rotate the calf front delt nice and light just to get into that movement. Um, it's the last exercise of the day. And then we can go back 
and chill. Need a pee, so be quick. <laughs> Pressing is done for today. That's Tuesday done. So decent session, nothing too heavy, but again, it's about kind of shoulder health, trying to get everything back to normal, um, as healthy as we can. Feel okay for you? Yes, all good, everything. Ticking the boxes, that's the main thing. Ticking right the now, boxes, yes. As we said, leave a legacy. Stoltman range will be coming out soon. We're going to showcase t-shirts different different times over the next couple of weeks in the video, so stay tuned for that. Thanks for all the people that are buying our merchandise. It really does mean an awful lot. Um, it keeps us in Stoltman clothing, so thank you very much. Keep buying. Anyway. Thank you guys. Stay safe, smile, and stay spicy. And don't forget to ring that little bell. Ding-a-ling-a-ling-a-ling! Ding, 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 ding. Oh, uh -huh.